Here we're going to look at the Winculum, the minus number, and it's so useful in uh, several aspects of uh, working with numbers. Uh, the, the word Winculum means a chain or a bond, it's a Latin word, uh, it's spelled Vinculum but pronounced Winculum. And in Vedic maths it is used as a minus number, so if we have the number 29 for example we can replace the 9 with um, a minus 1 and say this number is 30 winculum 1 which means 3 tens and minus 1 in the units column. Again if we have 26 we can turn this into 30 winculum 4. And if we have um, a, a longer number like 378 we can turn both the 7 and the 8 which are large digits into small ones by replacing them with winculums. How to do that? Uh, you increase this uh, 3 by 1, making 4, and then apply all from 9 and the last from 10 to the numbers you wish to uh, winculate. So 7 from 9 is 2, and the last from 10 is uh, a 2 as well, so that's 400 and winculum 2 in the tens column, winculum 2 in the units column. And for a longer number, we can do the same in parts. So we might have um, 498, 1, 3, 7, 2. And we look at these digits and uh, we want to turn the larger ones into small ones. So we're going to winculate this 9, the 8, and the 7. So dealing with the uh, 498 here, it becomes 5, 0, winky 2 and then the 1 and then 4 winky 3 2 and we can debinculate a number so if we have um, 1 2 winkulum 1 winkulum 2 winkulum 3 4 we can debinculate by reducing this left hand digit by 1 and then applying all from 9 and the last from 10 to the winkulum digit so 1 from 9 is 8 2 from 9 is 7, and 3 from 10 is 7. So what's the point of all this? Well, it does make calculations um, a lot easier. Uh, in cases where there are large digits, we can replace them with small digits. So for example, if we want to use vertically, vertically and crosswise to multiply 29 by 48, We can do this uh, just with the positive numbers, it would be, the calculation would be 8 nines are 72, 4 nines are 36, add 16 is 52, add 7 is 59, and then 2 fours, uh, 8 plus 5 is 13. And uh, so let's have a look at doing this with winculums. The 29 would be 30 winculum 1, and the 48 is 50 winculum 2. And here, of course, you'll need to be familiar with the rules for signs. Minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2. And then we have winculum 6 add winculum 5, which is winculum 11. And 15 add minus 1 is 14. And then we have to dewinculate taking 1 off this 4 and taking the 1 away from 10, so it's 1, 3, 9, 2. Um, and the same can be applied uh, with squaring, so if we have to square 29, if you've watched the straight squaring video I made then you'll know that uh, to square this using straight squaring we put down the square of 9 which is 81 and then dub, uh, multiply these uh, two digits and double the answers. So that's uh, two nines are 18, double it's 36, add the eight is 44, and then the square of the two is four, add the carry four here makes eight. Uh, now if we use the Winkulum method, we have 30 winkulum 1 squared. Winkulum 1 squared is 1. Once 3 is 3, double it is 6, it's winkulum 6. 
and then three threes are nine. And then we can dewinkulate, giving eight four one. And again, let us suppose now that we want to cube twenty nine using the proportionately method. With uh, just using the positive numbers, this turns out to be quite awkward. So <clears throat> we'd be looking at putting down the cube of 2, which is 8, and then using the ratio 2 to 9 to get the uh, sequence. So uh, applying the ratio 2 to 9 to 8, we can halve 8 uh, multiplied by, and then multiply by 9, giving 36. Halve that and multiply by 9, uh, which would give uh, 18 times 9 is 162. And then the, at the end, the cube of, or half that and multiply by 9, will give the cube of 9, which is, which is 729. And then we have to double, double the 162, giving 324, and double the 36, giving 72. And we've got to add up. We only allow one digit in each place, so we, here we'll have 9 with 72 to carry. Here we'll have 8 and 48 add 7, 55, got 55 to carry. And then uh, we can add up these and we get 3, 3 with a 16 to carry. And 8 add 16 is 24. Well, that's quite a lot of. Uh, uh, work and it is made much easier with the uh, Winkleum digit. And here we put down the cube of 3, which is 27, and we're going to use the ratio 3 to minus 1. So the next number in the sequence would be Winkleum 9, and then a positive 3, and then a negative 1, which is the cube of Winkleum 1. We can double this and double this, and then simply add up, and we'll have minus 1. 9. This is Winkleum 27. So it's Winkleum 7 with a Winkleum 2 to carry 25. 27 add minus 2 is 25. And then de-winkulate uh, to give 2, 4, 3, 8, 9. So that uh, can be made. You can even use, uh, you can even use Winkleum's just for, for, for just ordinary subtraction. Here's an example, 4, 3, 2, 4, minus 1, 7, 1, 9. 4 take away 9 is Winkleum 5. 2 take away 1 is 1. 3 take away 7 is Winkleum 4. And there we have a 3. And then we can de-winkulate to give 2, 6, 0, 5 as the answer. So all in all, these are very useful, um, very useful items uh, for uh, making making light of the uh, of the arithmetic, and that's what the Winkelum is and what it's used for in Vedic maths.